One of the things that AppSec Engineer is most well known for is our labs. We literally have labs covering every single concept that you can think of. Now, outside of labs, we also have playgrounds and we have challenges and so on. But labs really are the foundation to the hands-on learning that we offer as part of an AppSec Engineer license. Now, the labs essentially work as, as follows, right? So basically, the way it works is that in a lot of times, you will have courses that have videos, that have some quizzes, that might have some downloads. But every course typically will always have some kind of a lab. Now, a lab is something that allows you to learn entirely hands-on and is a dedicated environment for you to learn this entire concept hands-on. So let's take an example of a concept that we want to learn in cryptography. Let's say we want to learn one-way hashing versus key stretching. So this is the lab we want to learn. Let's get into the lab and see how it works. Now, each lab essentially has this environment where you have uh, some instructions, you have a provision button here, you have some instructions, and you have some uh, commands that you can run as part of your instructions. Now, the way it works, it's really simple. You don't need access to VPNs. A lot of times, a lot of training platforms require you to have VPNs and so on. AppSec Engineer doesn't require you to have any of that stuff. All you have to do is access all of this stuff on the browser, and there's absolutely nothing more that you need to do. So let's get started with actually provisioning and seeing how a lab works. So it's very simple. All you have to do is click on provision. And once you click on provision, there is a dedicated time bound lab environment that is spun up for you on the cloud. So you don't have to install anything, no VPNs required, none of that stuff. All the code, the dependencies that you need to run that lab are inside that server that is provisioned for you. So you don't need to do anything additional in order to actually figure things out, right? So all you have to do is wait for the lab to spin up. It takes about 30 to 60 seconds for the lab to spin up. Sometimes it's even faster than that, but typically it's about 30 to 60 seconds. And once the lab spins up, all you have to do is click on, and you can see as we are talking itself, the lab is spun up. I can click on access, and very shortly, you will be dropped into a IDE-like environment that you can use to actually figure out how that lab works. You can look at the source code, you can upload now, you can do all of that stuff in the lab environment. The lab environment, if you are familiar with today's most popular editor, Visual Studio Code, it's very similar to that. It's not the same thing, but it's very similar to that. So all you have to do is look at the code and you will see that this gives you access to the entire code base related to that particular lab. So you'll see that this is the code base for that lab. This is a Golang application that we're using to understand the differences between one-way hashing and key stretching. So that is the example that we have. And all you have to do is literally copy paste the instruction. So you can open up a terminal, which is so easy to do. Let's see that you can pin the terminal on top and I'm going to follow the instruction. Now this is a very simple lab that just teaches you the difference between key stretching and, uh, and one-way hashing. So in this case, let's first generate uh, a hash and it tells you how much time it took for the hash to generate. But the same password, if I try and do key stretching, it will see, you will see that it takes a much longer time. So you will see that this teaches you a very important concept. We have videos that will replicate the same example and tell you what is the difference between key stretching and hashing so that you understand a lot more in detail. But with the lab, the thing you can do with labs is that you can actually experiment. You can run, you can add your own code. So let's say you are familiar with Go, you want to add something else to this. You can do that, compile it and run it. It's a full-fledged server environment that you can use to experiment with the contents of the lab. So labs are a really powerful way to get your hands-on learning with AppSec Engineer. So because you need to learn this hands-on and you want to be able to actually experiment and play with things in real life, this does not give you any kind of simulator or something like that. It actually gives you a real world environment, which gives you real world apps that are vulnerable and things that you can fix that actually get you to understand this concept a lot more in depth than, you know, just watching a video or just looking and uh, writing or reading something on the internet. This actually gives you a hands-on perspective and that's why our labs on AppSec Engineer are something that the users love most about learning on AppSec Engineer.